There we go, baby. <laughs> nice and centered. Audio on? Audio is on. Whoa. 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 Going back to Southeast Asia. You. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I am I am rusty. What up guys? Welcome back to the channel or I should be welcoming myself back because I haven't uploaded a video in nine months now, which is absolutely ridiculous, but I needed some time to step away from YouTube a little bit and focus on some other things. And I'm suddenly inspired to film an update video because there are things that I wanna do with this channel moving forward. Um, still lots of travel content, but I also wanna focus on some other new passions of mine as well, like health and fitness and yeah i'm here to update you guys so i'm just gonna follow the list i'm gonna follow the list because otherwise my thoughts are gonna be scattered all over the place i'm gonna sip some tea to relax lovely and i'm gonna tell you guys where i've been for the last year and where this channel is going and i'm just super excited about it all so let's just jump into it so first off I've been in Brandon, South Dakota, my hometown. I've been staying at my mom and stepdad's place, which has been so fortunate. I'm so grateful to be able to stay here and I can work and save up money as quickly as possible to pursue my dreams and my passion. So I'm very, very blessed for that. And that's what I've been doing for the last year. I've been working at my old job at the Holiday Inn Express here. So why haven't I been uploading? I just kind of needed some time to focus on myself. I just didn't feel, I don't know, maybe inspired enough to keep making videos. I just needed a break from uploading, but more so, I think I just needed time to work on myself. Me physically, but also mentally, I needed to find more internal peace. And in the last year, I've been on quite the health and fitness journey. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've lost like 45 pounds. I eat a whole new different diet that I absolutely love and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. All right, so a lot has happened in the last year or so and it kind of pains me that I didn't make any videos on any of it because it all could have been amazing content to share with you guys and I think you would have all really enjoyed it. But let me just go down the list here. So I've been back to the Netherlands or to the Netherlands three times to visit my girlfriend, Laura. I went first in October of 2018, then I went back in April, March, April of 2019, and then again in August. I uploaded a couple of videos for my first trip there. I still have like a video of us going to the Efteling, the Dutch theme park, fairy tale theme park. I have a couple of videos from Amsterdam that I haven't edited together. And then when I returned again in March, April, we went to London and I filmed a vlog there as well and I still haven't put those together. And I probably will at some point, but I just wanna be able to like jump up to the present moment, fill you guys in on me and, and maybe we'll get back to those at some point. But the biggest news of all, I'm just gonna say it now, going back to Southeast Asia, leaving literally in two weeks. I'm going with Laura, which is just incredibly, incredibly amazing. We're gonna be going to Indonesia and the Philippines, but I'll get back to that at the end of the video here. Another massive milestone is I bought a Sprinter van, a 2006 Freightliner Sprinter van. What can I say, I'm blown away. I got it at such an amazing deal. I found it on Facebook Marketplace down in Texas. I was at work when I found it. I literally bought a plane ticket before I got off my shift. The next day I flew down to Texas, bought the van in cash, and then drove it back up to South Dakota and made it back to my shift, my next shift 40 hours later at the hotel. So that was incredible. I still get inside the van and like just look around in there and I feel just immense happiness come over me because it was so fortunate to find such a good deal on that van. I got it for less than half the price I thought I was gonna have to pay. And I'm pretty sure I could flip it for over double what I paid. So just super, super fortunate and grateful for that. I look around in the space of that van. Um, I plan on building it out into uh, a Sprinter van, home on wheels, 
and I plan on living in it eventually here. Uh, next April or springtime, I plan on going all in, uh, building that out, and it's going to be amazing. I'm going to bring you guys along for that journey. But what else? Let's see. I did a intermittent fasting warrior diet for four, four and a half months. Basically, I didn't eat 20 hours out of the day. I ate within a four hour eating window. I cut my daily caloric intake down to about 2000 calories. And I averaged about losing about 10 pounds a month for four and a half months. So I lost about 45 pounds. I might have put about 10 pounds back on at one point, but I've lost that again just naturally uh, from the way I'm eating now whole foods, plant-based diet. Um, and I, I just feel healthy and amazing and excited. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. I just finished a 5K a day, 100 day challenge. For 100 days straight, I went out and ran 3.1 miles. Uh, I just found, I found running bringing a lot of happiness to my days and on the days that I wasn't running. I found myself missing it and I started wondering if I could run every single day. I always had this idea that I needed to take a day off after running for two or three days in a row. And the week before I started the 100 day challenge, I ran five days in a row and I felt great. And out of the, I took a day off to go hang out with a buddy um, and came back home and started the challenge like on the spot. It like the thought just hit me and I'm like, I want to do this and I stuck to it. 100 days straight, and it was a really, really great experience. And I, the whole, like, I randomly throughout the challenge, I would think, damn, I should be making like a big video on this and just like sharing my thoughts as I go. And I didn't, I did take photos though. Um, I'll show some of those on the screen right now. And it was just a, a awesome progress, or awesome, an awesome time. But uh, also during that challenge, I turned 30. So I'm now in my 30s now. And on my 30th birthday, there was a race going, by, race going on uh, locally here. And I ran in a 30 kilometer trail race uh, for my 30th birthday, on my 30th birthday. And it went amazingly. I had an awesome time. I loved it. I've, I've wanted to get into trail running. Uh, more in the last couple of years, I've been feeling like a pull and a calling for it. And I found out there was, I live in Eastern South Dakota, it's really flat around here, but I found out about a place nearby that's quite hilly and they do trail races there. And yeah, I actually ran in a, a 10K trail race there a couple weeks before my 30th birthday. And then on my birthday, the 30 kilometer race. And it was an amazing time and a big achievement in my life and one I'll never uh, forget. In the future, I think I want to go farther. I want to run a marathon trail race. I want to run an ultra marathon race, anything over a marathon. I'd like to do like a 30 or 50 miler eventually, but uh, I want to do the marathon first and then we'll make bigger, bigger goals for the future past that. Um, let's see, I started eating whole foods plant-based. Uh, if you guys don't know, I stopped eating meat at the end of my last Southeast Asia trip back in uh, December of 2016. And I knew I always wanted to cut out all animal products, including eggs and dairy. And I did that for the first month or so, but then I kind of slowly got eggs and dairy back into the diet. I didn't really know what I was doing and I felt like maybe I could, I, I mean, there's get some nutrients from the eggs especially. I thought that was uh, something that I, I may need. But uh, as time went by, I knew I always wanted to get to a full uh, plant-based diet. And I started doing a lot more research in the last year here. And I found out incredible facts, um, good and bad, uh, the, the health benefits of eating a whole foods plant-based diet, um, the negative impacts of the animal, of the animal agriculture industry, which is absolutely horrible and horrendous. And I also started to um, feel more compassion for the animals as well. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was honestly the last thing I thought about. It was more for environmental reasons from the get-go, why I cut out meat in the first place. And then it became, I got a lot more passionate about it, my personal health. And then uh, I started feeling a lot more sympathy for the animals as well when I learned more about uh, the horrible conditions that they live in. But yeah, the whole foods plant-based diet has brought just such joy and I don't know, I 
it's so much joy into my life. I just, I, I'm so excited about the food I get to eat every day. And if you don't eat whole foods plant-based, um, it might be kind of hard to explain, but I just feel like my world has changed and opened up and I, I just get so excited to consume the healthy food um, and, and feel amazing all the time. It's just absolutely incredible. And I just feel like uh, I'm aligned with, with my morals, I guess. I guess it can be kind of a hard thing to talk about because some people are kind of sensitive about it or a lot of people are sensitive about the diet and they don't want someone telling them what they can and cannot eat, but this is just my own personal journey and it's making me very happy and fulfilled, so it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I've got new passion for health. I want to share more health related videos on the channel. I want to show like what you guys what I'm eating and some of my health and fitness goals that I'm going on. Like I took some photos before I started my intermittent, f intermittent fasting uh, cut a year ago and I just took update photos again recently and posted them on my Instagram. So if you guys are curious about that, you can go check them out. My Instagram handle is Jordan R. Pike, and uh, I'll show a couple photos on the screen here too if you're not interested, which I totally understand. Yeah, I've made some amazing progress. I'm super happy about where I am physically. I have a lot of goals for the future. In the next year, I wanna focus more on doing a lot more calisthenics and I don't know, maybe some weightlifting eventually, but I think I'm still just more interested in body weight. I've always felt a lot more of a desire to do body weight type exercises because I was always a bigger guy and I never really wanted to get really bulky. I've always wanted to actually like trim down and get more toned. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, and I feel pretty damn good. Okay, so I know plenty of you subscribed for my travel content and I'm never going to stop making travel content. Travel is one of my biggest passions in life and I want to continue traveling a ton. Like I said, I'm going back to Southeast Asia. I bought a van to live out of and travel in uh, to have a low cost lifestyle so I can afford more trips and uh, just amazing experiences around the world. And yeah, I'm always going to continue making travel content. But I also want to share other things that I'm passionate about, uh, about health and fitness as well, and anything else that comes up in my life. Converting the van and all that. So yeah, there's going to be other content besides my typical travel vlogs. I considered making another channel, but my channel is pretty small. I don't think it's, it's justified to create a new channel at this point. I think I'm small enough where I can still transform a bit and if some of you guys aren't interested in that and want to unsubscribe, I totally understand. Feel free to say goodbye in the comments. Um, but if whoever wants to stick around, I am super happy to have you guys here and sticking with me. I know some of you have reached out in the last year or so and wondered how I've been or what I've been up to. And some of you do follow me on my other social media platforms, so you've seen some of the stuff I've been going through. But yeah, I'm super happy that you guys are staying here and sticking with me, and there's a ton of amazing stuff to come. And I feel a passion to share that with everyone. Uh, sometimes I've questioned myself, like, why, why me? Why would I make content? Well, I, I felt a passion to share. I like to. I know it doesn't touch everyone and not everyone is into it, but some people are and, and that's just the way it is. Not everyone's going to like who I am or, or what I'm into, but some people will and it'll affect some people in a great way. So, yeah, and not everyone's privileged enough to have the opportunity to share, even if they want to. And some people like to consume and they're not interested in sharing their personal stuff, but I'm pretty much an open book and I really don't mind it. So yeah, that's why I created this channel and that's why I'm gonna continue posting here and sharing with you all. So anyways, without this getting too incredibly long, I wanna finish off the video here. Uh, going back to the Southeast Asia trip, we are leaving in like less than two weeks now. I think just under two weeks. Um, I've got a little bit of work to finish up. Gosh, I didn't even talk about Pike Productions, my videography company that I started with my brother as well, something we've been working on lightly for the last couple of years, but really haven't dove in fully. We've been really fortunate so far to have a couple gigs. We've filmed, I think, three or four weddings now, and we've done uh, some other small stuff as well and have uh, some stuff coming up, but I think that's something I'm going to really be focusing on as well, alongside with this YouTube channel going into the future. Uh, it just... 
I get to work with my brother. I get to uh, shoot beautiful moments for people, like their weddings. And I get to edit those videos together, things that I all enjoy doing. And it can provide an income for me to travel more and have more freedom uh, rather than be locked into an 8-to-5 job 40 hours a week. Something that I'm not that interested in, honestly. So, yeah, video, uh, Pike Productions, at Pike Pros on Instagram, if you're interested in that as well. But we barely even touched that page so far. But yeah, uh, we're going to Southeast Asia. We're first flying into Bali, Indonesia, Laura and I are. And we're going to be there for about a week, exploring around Bali. And then we're going to fly from Bali up to Cebu City, Philippines and we're going to travel around in the Philippines for a month go to probably a lot of the places if you've watched any Philippines content before that a lot of backpackers go through and I'm going to bring you guys along for the journey I don't know how much I'm going to vlog but I do want to vlog and share it with you guys I love that I documented my last trip and a lot of people really enjoyed that and I think it'll excite some of you that I'm going to be doing it again I know there's some other YouTubers I've watched that have went through Southeast Asia and I've always wanted them to go back so I can watch more of their content. So, yeah, uh, the new evolved me, want the person that has more inner peace, the healthier me is going to be going back and hopefully um, some of the stressful sides of it that came with it last time, it won't be as big of a deal and I'll just be more comfortable in my own skin sharing my hopefully hopefully awesome adventures with you guys so yeah after the month in the philippines we'll be flying back to jakarta indonesia then we'll travel east from there uh through java back through bali um to lombok and then farther east and i want to do a lot of hiking on this trip i'm sure there's going to be plenty of beach time because it's indonesia and the philippines they're all made up of islands but yeah hopefully plenty of hiking as well i the biggest thing i'm really looking forward to is hiking Mount Rinjani on Lombok. Unfortunately, it, e it erupted at the end of 2018, I believe, and the summit is still apparently too dangerous to hike to, but you can still hike up to like 200 meters below the summit. Um, I think it's like a 2400 meter elevation volcano, but anyways, that's gonna be like a three day, two night uh, hiking, trekking trip or whatever. And yeah, uh, overall, I'm just so flippin' excited to be going back to Southeast Asia ever since I left last time. I wa I've wanted to go back, and it's finally happening. And my beautiful girlfriend is coming with me. Like, travel is amazing. I love solo travel, you know, getting to do whatever the hell you want. Meet, you meet a ton of new people. Um, but also traveling with a, a, a significant other, like... Can't get much better than that, so I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Hopefully it doesn't suck, hopefully the lighting isn't horrible. I literally just have a lamp here, it's dark in here, the lighting's horrible. I even took a shower quick before starting because I hadn't showered today and my hair was kinda greasy. And I was literally just working on a wedding edit that I'm pumping out here in the next week before Christmas. Um, so I'm probably gonna get back to that, but hey, uh, thanks guys for watching. Really nice to see you all again, or I hope to hear from you in the comments at least. And, uh, God, like the video, I guess, if you want to. I feel lame saying that. I don't deserve to say that yet. This is my first video in nine months, but, uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Probably the first trip, uh, first day in Southeast Asia. It's gonna be amazing. We'll catch you guys soon. Uh, should we call you the Pikeys still? I don't know. Peace out, Pikeys. You can't forget to include my boy Rolly. Hi, buddy. Oh, he was chilling right here the whole time. He's such a beautiful boy. Don't claw the chair. Look at what he's done. Bye, buddy.